I want Manjinder Sirsa from the BJP to respond. You are raising the concern about the community having a sense of being disquiet and concerned. There are families in Canada, virtually everyone in Punjab has somebody in Canada and vice versa amongst the Punjabi community. Many of them want to come back, the holiday season is here. There are students who are in the pipeline to go. You want to reduce the size of the High Commission, that means that visa uh, delays increase. It's already uh, several months late, it could be delayed even further. Manjinder Sirza, how does your government and your party respond to these concerns from Mr. Suri? So definitely these are the biggest concerns when it comes to Punjab and the people living in Canada because as Mr. Suri very, very well said that most of the people are from Punjab. We are also concerned about that. We are also looking at that. The situation is getting turn, turning to the worst point after the situation created by the Prime Minister of Canada. When he threw no, out but, our diplomat. But I was speaking uh, earlier in the day to Vikram Majiti and he said, why should an entire community, an entire state be punished for the actions of a few? Definitely. Target the Khalistanis, go after them rather than put the entire community and an entire state in a state of limbo. No, nobody is putting an entire state or entire community. Definitely, that's a big challenge. As I very well said, it's a big case challenge for us also. Because uh, either, uh, half of the families in Canada and half of the families in Punjab. And we are facing, but the problem here is the question should be asked from Trudeau, not from the Indian Prime Minister, because he was the one who threw out our diplomat. He came, he went to the Parliament, said no, something, but the desert, came out, no, no, no. And simply sir, sir, out the difference the, is uh, that diplomat and said you have to leave the country within. Asking a diplomat to leave is between governments. Asking a diplomat to leave is between governments. Putting all visas in suspension then impact the larger community and there are many more Indians wanting to go to Canada than there are Canadians wanting to come to India. So there are two different set of people. So one are the Canadian. No, no Indian requires a visa. They already have a visa and have OCI card. But yes, the people who have taken uh, the passport, Canadian passport there, there will be no problem. And the government will take care of them also. It is not for the Indian people who are come, want to come back. I, I'm, I'm sure that government will not see any single person get affected by this order. I'm sure about that. Now, Deep Suri raised the con concern about students who are in the pipeline. If the High Commission gets, uh, you know, the staff strength is reduced, uh, then there are concerns that there'll be massive visa, visa delays. No, but visa delay f from Canadian side or from Indian side? It cannot be from Indian side because the Canada, Canadian visa is issued by a Canadian government here in, in Delhi. That's what I'm so saying. So if they the reduce the size of the High government. Commission, it will increase the pressure on the officers who are there, it will increase the time it will take for people to get visas. No, Rahul, but that is not our concern. That has to be taken care by the uh, Canadian government. But you said that if you don't have to reduce your people, then our impact is on the people. No, the impact is on our people. No, the impact is on our people, definitely. But the visa, I'm just talking about the visa and the students. In, okay. in those who want to travel from Punjab to Canada, so it is not our government who has to decide. It's a park, it's a sorry Canadian government who has to decide this. So I don't believe that Surisa must be right on one part that if we are not issuing a visa to the people living in Canada, that's a big question here. But when it comes to the people living in Del in, in India want to go to Canada, that is a Okay, let me get Navdeep Suri to respond very briefly because I have a lot of questions sure. I want to go through, but let him respond to what he's heard from the BJP spokesperson, I, 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 Mr. Suri. I, 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 I think sister, uh, what I was trying to say is when we announced a decision for the Canadians to downsize their diplomatic representation in India to the same level as ours in uh, Canada, it has an unintended consequence. And that unintended consequence is that there are fewer, fewer consular staff to process visas. That's the limited point I'm making, that uh, it is the classic case of the law of unintended consequences, uh, where the humanitarian impact will be felt in Punjab and already people are talking about it. I'm saying this because I happen to be here. No, sure. I want to run now and show our uh, viewers responses to the other questions. And this is an interesting question from Yashwan Deshmukh's team because a country like Israel, a country like the United States, especially post 9-11, has been going out and doing targeted killings of those who act against American uh, interest. When a Zawahiri is killed, or when an Osama bin Laden is killed, everyone watching typically tends to applaud. Well done, Obama. Well done, Bush. Should India do the same? Here are the responses to that question. This is going to generate a lot of chatter. 
This question from uh, the political stock exchange, should terrorists be hunted and eliminated? 83%, 8 out of 10 respondents in this poll say yes, terrorists should be hunted and killed. Uh, let's look at the responses from within Punjab. In Punjab as well, 64% of the respondents say terrorists should be hunted and killed. 17% say no. That is massive. That just suggests, remember, these are always controversial because it's extrajudicial. You're going into somebody else's country, killing uh, a terrorist over there. If you get a big catch, your voters like it. It's always diplomatically tough to handle, but the mood in India, very clear and very direct. What's your reaction to the killing, uh, what's your reaction to the expulsion of an Indian diplomat by Canada? 18% uh, say it doesn't matter, no reaction. 39% uh, say India should expel one Canadian diplomat, which it already has. Expel all Canadian diplomats, say 26%, that's a bit over the top and that's just the populist mood, I won't take that very seriously. Is Trudeau supporting Khalistani terrorism? Let's come to this question. Is the government of Justin Trudeau and the Prime Minister himself supporting Khalistani terrorists? 60% say yes, 18% say no. In Punjab, responses to that same question are different quite naturally. Here, 39% are saying yes, 33% are saying no. Nationally, the number was 60 saying yes and 18% saying no. Yashwan Deshmukh, this one number that you've put out in this poll will generate a lot of chatter. 83% of the overall respondents say India should hunt down terrorists. Yes, Rahul, and again the highlight is not that how many want to say that the terrorists should be hunted down. The highlight for me is the sink of the opposition voter and the NDA supporters. What Correct. it tells us is that on certain issues, there are three different layers of question that we try to ask. Number we tried to check if people believe that Indian agencies did it. That was roughly in the 60s, uh, that they believe that Indian agencies did not do it. Then we asked, what if they did it? Is that, if, would that be a right thing to do? The number goes up to 70%, you know, that, yeah, it's the right thing to do. And then we ask a sweeping question. Should they be, you know, I mean, eliminated altogether and no matter where they are kind of uh, sentiment, it goes further to 80%. And regardless of the political divide, regardless of the ideology, the numbers are more or less in sync on the same line. What is important for here to understand why we ask this question and to understand is a fact that probably very, very fine line, Rahul, that Western uh, press, Western media, and including Western diplomats should be understanding that many of them think that it's because of the current government in charge that you know, uh, these kind of aggressions are coming in, these kind of emotions are coming in. But what they are not realizing that in a democracy like India, even if tomorrow Congress comes to power, even if tomorrow Mr. Rahul Gandhi becomes the prime minister, he just cannot do away with the public emotion on such an issue. Probably Correct. no matter who comes to power, he is going to toe the same line. He is going to take the same action. This is a different kind of India they are dealing with is the public emotion is very clear regardless across the political support line and that emotion is going to support no matter who becomes the prime minister, no matter who wins the election, this kind of public emotion is going to uh, force the government that they are going to choose, whichever okay. way they choose, to, to go about the way they want to go. 